a rest, will you? Sorry, it's a bit like a bear pit here in the mornings. It's all right. I'm used to the noise. Six hours of house and techno every night. <laughs> Speaking of which, morning, Matthew. Morning, Steve. I'm minus the DJ. Who are you? Well, that's it. There's a pretty good one living here. You want to earn a few extra bucks? No, thanks. I've done you enough favours for one lifetime. Oh, come on. At least consider it. I just did. Now, have you finished your tea? I've got to get back to the store. Well, if you do reconsider, you know where I am. I know what you're doing. Yeah. I'm offering you regular paid work. Cash up front. No, you're not. You're trying to keep an eye on me. You're going to have to do better than that, Steve. Listen, you carry on like you're in some gangster movie if you want to. I'm just trying to find a DJ, all right? Well, I'm glad you chose. Bye. Nice meeting you. Yeah, tell them. But you was broke. Not that broke. Have that. I feel sick. All... You're late. I know. Well, as soon as we're not busy, I'll overlook it. Overlook what? It's all right, Steve. I'm dealing with it. No, I don't think you are. Right, you're over an hour late. Now, I'm giving you a verbal warning. Steve! Look, I'm trying to run a professional outfit here for grown-ups. Don't need you acting like some stroppy teenager. Grant, go and put the towels in the shower area. Have you finished? For the moment. Would you mind leaving staff discipline to me? I would if I thought you were capable of it. Now, wait a minute. No, you wait a minute. I've put a lot of time and money into this place. I want to make it a success. Now, the first step towards disaster is having someone with his kind of background working here. I hired him, and I'll decide whether he gets fired or not. Annie, last week he threw out one of my clients. Then he goes and roughs up the social worker. The guy is unstable. I won't be told what to do by you or anyone else. Oh, could I just interrupt the board meeting for a minute? No. What is it, Carl? Uh, keys to the store. Thanks. Carry on. What are you doing? I'm talking to you. Sorry, did you say something? Are you drinking? No. What would you call this thing? Well, I called it an empty beer can. So you have been drinking, right? Exactly. I have been drinking. Your question was, are you drinking? Yeah. Yeah, I'll get the picture, Grant. You get your stuff, mate, all right? What's going on? I'm just in the middle of telling Grant I'm going to have to let him go. Only you don't have to. Because I quit. You can stick your poxy job where it hurts. See, Annie? Where's the tape? Joe took out to put his cartoon in, didn't he? Where'd you put a tape? It's there, mate. The no. body, no, believed that's the to be that of a young woman, was discovered by a group of children while they were playing Look, in the area. Just put a tape back in while not releasing any finished, further yeah? details about oh, the victim, on, Bentley, just the police yeah. have started a house-to-house -house investigation, asking residents if they remember anything Bentley, unusual she got occurring in the past sleep. few months. I already did. Is that of course, we want to wait till the autopsy before coming to conclusions. But it's clear that the uh, the body of this young lady was buried at the spot. Uh, probably within the last few months. And, of course, we want to set the investigation in motion as quickly as we can.